Grade 3 Math, number 104, Unknown Side Lengths. Unknown Side Lengths. That means we know the lengths of all the sides except for one, maybe two. So let's see if we can figure this first one out here. Emma is putting in 27 feet of fence around her garden to keep rabbits out. So here's her garden. It's in the corner of the yard. And this section is 5 feet, this section is 8 feet, and this section is 10 feet. And we don't know what this section measures. But we know that the whole thing is supposed to be 27 feet. So what we're going to do is, we're going to add the 8, the 5, and the 10, plus this unknown number to equal 27. Now what do we need to do? We need to add these three numbers the 8, the 10, and the 5. Let's do that. 8 and 0 and 5 is 13. 1 and 1 is 2. That totals 23. So 23 plus n, see, equals the 27. So let's do subtraction. 27 minus this number, 23. 7 take away 3 is 4. And that's 0. So that leaves 4. So 23 plus 4 equals 27. n equals 4. So n equals 4 feet. See how we did that? That means that this side would have to be 4 feet. Okay? Let's do this one. This is 9 centimeters, 13 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 16 centimeters. We don't know what this side is, but we know the whole thing is 57 centimeters, okay? So we need to figure out what n is. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all of these together, subtract it from the 57, and that'll tell us what's left over for the n, okay? 9 and 9 is 18, okay? This is 18, and look, 6 and 3 is 9. So we have three nines. Three times nine is 27. Put the two up there, the seven there. Two, three, four. 47 plus n equals 57. We put the 47 here. We do our subtraction. And we find out that what's left over is 10. So n must equal 10 centimeters. See that? It's so a couple steps to this, but it's really easy when you think about it, okay? Let's look at this one here. This side's 5 inches, this side's 5 inches, and we don't know what these sides are. They're both n, okay? We do know that the whole thing is supposed to equal 14 inches. So we need to figure out what's left over from adding these two together to make these equal 14 altogether, okay? So... We know that 5 plus 5 plus n plus n is supposed to equal 14, all right? Well, 5 and 5 is 10, so if we have the 14 and take the 10 away, that's going to leave 4 inches left over. That means the n plus the n part of this must be 4 inches. So what we do is, since there's two of them here, see, two n's? We're going to divide the 4 inches into 2 numbers. 4 divided by 2 is 2. That means that each side must be 2 inches. See? Remember the little two little lines mean inches? So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It works. All right? Let's try this one. Now we don't have any numbers around it. All we know is that the whole thing equals 8 feet. Now we can look at this and tell that all the sides are the same. So that's going to help us knowing they're all the same because whatever these are, all four of them are the same number that equal 8. And I bet you can already figure this out, right? So what we do is we say 4 times n equals 8 feet. 4 times the n equals 8 feet. 4 times what is 8? Well, we can also do 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by this 4. See? 8 divided by 4 is 2. 
That means n must equal 2 feet. So each one of these equals 2. Does that work? Does that equal 8? 2, 4, 6, 8. That works perfectly. So when you're trying to find an unknown side, the best thing that you can do is add up the sides that you do know, subtract that from the total, and then that number that's left over will tell you the unknown side. If you've got many unknown sides and they're all the same length, you can just divide that amount of sides into the total number of the perimeter. Like in this one, where you have two unknown sides, you would add these two, subtract it from the total, and then divide whatever's left over into the two parts. It's not that hard. I bet you could do it. I'll see you next video.